Not only have I got one bag full of stuff, I've also got two bags full of stuff. And then finally, this bad boy right here, all from UK charity shops. I had the most amazing time on my recent shopping spree in charity shops in the UK, as you know, are just absolutely everywhere. They're all over the high street. There's not one place you go with a town that hasn't got a charity shop these days. The charity shops I've been to from this haul are Salvation Army, Bernardo's, St. Peter's Hospice, and Cats Protection. During my recent charity shop rummage, I found some pretty good items and I cannot wait to share with you guys. Perfect for autumn and winter. We've got coats, we've got jackets, we've got cardigans, we've got knitted wear we've got t-shirts cannot wait to share with you guys everything that i picked up like i said i've got free bag full of stuff i'm going to show you guys the coats first of all and i will add i've had to wash all of these because if you guys know and are familiar with charity shops they stink of like attics old houses and just yeah the the musky smell of clothing from the charity shops don't get put off by it because they all smell amazing right now i've washed them they all smell really good but at the beginning one of the coats that i picked up literally smelled like coffee it took me two washes to get it out but it's all good the coat's in a really great condition it smells nice now and yeah it just took a while to get out so all the tags unfortunately have been removed but yeah they are definitely all from the charity shop trust me on that overall considering how much i picked up i think i spent around 60 pounds altogether once i do the calculations at the end i'll put an accurate price in here considering how much i bought it's a very good rummage and i'm so happy with everything i just cannot wait to start this haul so yeah without further ado let's head into the coats i was in desperate need of some autumn winter coats i've kind of grew out the ones that i've had so far so i've done a little swap should i say i've gone to a charity shop donated a load and then bought a load back so yeah this is what we're doing now we're going to be sustainable so the first item in this bag is a long brown like knitted jacket kind of thing not really sure how to describe it i'm really bad at describing things if you guys didn't know but this one was seven pounds it wasn't priced originally but um took it to the till and just asked you know how much it was going to cost and it said seven pounds pretty happy with that it's like a long line jacket coat type of thing it's like a nice chocolatey brown color perfect for this time of year autumn winter wear love it it's from primark it was a size 14 to 16 which is like a large sort of size very comfortable and warm very oversized so i can layer it with jumpers and stuff like that so yeah really great find seven pounds can't really go wrong and to be fair most of the items that you pick up or find in charity shops should be around 15 pounds or less in the uk so my next item which i got to pick up is this faux fur denim crop jacket love this i was just in a desperate need for something like this in my wardrobe and i just fell in love with it when i saw it it was seven pounds 99 from st peter's hospice i've also got a little notebook there of all the tags that I took off because I just for life of me I was just a bit worried that I won't remember even though I only bought this yesterday I should have filmed this with the tags on and obviously straight from the bag so you can, guys can see the smell reaction but I just felt like I just could not sit here for as long as it takes to film this with the smell of the clothes like just ruminating all around me so I had to clean it for my own my own personal reasons but yeah this one is from pretty little thing it's in a size 14 it's like a cropped length as well which is perfect for this time of year still got that little cutesy vibe to it a nice soft beige faux fur on the collar there and it's like a denim jacket with like fur lining all inside so I think that's a pretty good bargain £7.99 for this and I just cannot wait to get this on for like christmas markets and just cozy nights watching fireworks and stuff like that i just felt like it was a really good find got pockets along the front as well and yeah really happy with this cannot wait to wear that so the next jacket i've got here is again a nice brown color you can see where i'm going with this i've got a lot of blacks and grays but i don't really have those like brown autumnal colors so that's kind of like the theme of this like charity shop haul that i've gone on this one is from tu which i think is sainsbury's it's an extra large and it's kind of like a aviator jacket which you see are quite trendy right now a bit darker than the normal ones that you find but again i just really like that chocolatey autumnal color it's got a little bit of a shimmer there with the faux fur lining um and obviously you can kind of turn the ends up there and have it here this was the jacket that smelled absolutely disgusting i don't know why it's like someone spilt an entire cup of coffee all over it like not not even coffee like the actual coffee beans it was that bad and i absolutely hate coffee by the way so yeah it took me oh, such a long time to get this clean i've cleaned it twice and it smells like Lenore now. It's got like this little fur trim all around the back there, which is really nice. It's kind of giving vintage, but obviously it's from Sainsbury's by look of it. I need to check how much this one cost. It was £7.99. But yeah, really nice oversized kind of fit. Again, can't wait to wear it for autumn and winter and those cosy nights that are coming up very soon. So yeah, really like this. And again, just loving those chocolatey brown sort of shades for this time of year. Just 
don't know why but it's just kind of drawn to it and then the last coat which i've got to share with you guys is something a little bit practical as you guys may or may not know i've got two dogs and i just needed something a little bit more for those rainier sort of days so i picked up this jacket here this was like a waterproof one from i think it's oh oh i'm not gonna pronounce this very well is it regatta is it regatta why does that sound like gatto it's like a waterproof jacket coat it's in a size 16 again because i love to layer pieces as you can see right now i've got like a knitted jumper on with the blazer i just love layering stuff so a nice oversized coat just goes a long way for me i can layer it up and just yeah this one was eight pounds 99 again from st peter's hospice i'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of this either on my hikes walking the dogs those rainy days just doing my errands out and about probably brand new you're probably looking at spending around 45 pounds on this so pretty good fun and so far everything that i picked up hasn't got any holes in it hasn't got no damage to it it's pretty great condition probably just worn like a couple of times and then you know just gotten rid of so yeah really good pieces so far so love that and i'm just yeah i can't explain to you guys how happy this haul is making me because i found such some great bargains like sometimes when i go to a charity shop i get such bad luck can't find anything but this time around i just feel like i've hit the jackpot i love clothes love this time of year autumn winter fashion is my absolute favorite not really too keen on the summer wear and yeah just time of year just love being cozy and warm it's my favorite so moving on to my second bag full of clothes this bag i actually picked up in st peter's hospice for four pounds 99 most of the bags i have are like bag packs or bum bags and maybe like an over shoulder kind of thing but i don't actually have any like you know what I mean? Like shoulder bags, anything like that. So I felt like, again, I was in need for that. It was £4.99, like I said. Really great condition. I'm not really sure what the brand did. It's, it doesn't have any labels in. I checked yesterday and just nothing. Not too bad, not too shabby and perfect for this time of year. So really happy with that. The first item from this bag is this grey and white stripy shirt. Just like a basic sort of layering piece or just a item to have in your wardrobe i guess i love a good old shirt buttoned down buttoned up with a little crop top underneath i feel like you can just get a lot of wear out of it even in the summer to be fair like i do love a good old shirt in the summer this one is from monkey it's in a size medium but it's like a nice oversized kind of fit and obviously it's been a bit creased from the washing and drying process but yeah we've got this like little tie up sleeve as well there just for a little bit of like a relaxed sort of style this one was 5.99 from st peter's hospice just a great easy outfit for this time of year and like i said if you guys have watched my primark haul i'm just in need of those like basic t-shirts like everyday sort of wear so again that's kind of like the direction i've gone for in this little rummage so my next item here is a like a light milky chocolate again it's all like brown colors so if you're not really a fan of that the color is coming very soon i've got a whole bag full of like different colour stuff but this one is a Primark basic crew neck sort of t-shirt here this one was actually £3.99 now don't get me wrong you can probably buy this brand new in Primark for like £2 because I know a lot of their basic wear is like £2, £2.50 so £3.99 I feel like the charity shops are definitely overpriced on this one but we're just going to go with it. It, it we are donating at the same time we're doing a good deed we're buying clothes and obviously we're donating at the same time so it's a win-win either way for all of us i guess but either way it's in a good condition i just like the color it's just a basic kind of brown t-shirt obviously all around but yeah pick that one up as well this next item here is a really cute little brown cardigan don't really have a lot of cardigans it's like a crop sort of length as you can see here it's not too long and i feel like i can kind of wear it off shoulder with a little slouchy kind of look with a little black kind of like strappy crop top underneath really nice casual cozy vibes like i'm not gonna lie to you guys i do have a lot of colorful clothes in my wardrobe and i'm kind of getting like to a point where i open it up and i'm just overwhelmed because like i don't find that i can wear a lot of it this time of year like in a re-wearable sort of way i love all of them like i would never get rid of them because some of the things i've got are just like my younger self's dream when i look into my wardrobe full of color full of boldness but i was just in those desperate needs for like on a casual day like those neutral sort of tones that i can just rewear on a dog walk or just out and about in just many different ways so i'm kind of like reshaping my wardrobe in that angle as well like i've got my colorful and bold side but i also need those everyday looks which has taken a while for me to understand and really get my head round because i'm not really like um a basic colorless sort of person i've had to kind of shape myself into it because every time i open my wardrobe i just find it such a hard work to find something that i enjoy wearing day to day so i have just basically been in need of buying like those basic colors and those rewearable pieces for those days where i just don't really want to stand out and be bold do you know what i'm trying to say but yeah this one was £3.99 again from st peter's hospice this one is from dorothy perkins in a size 12 this next item is from 
from Bernardo's um, and it basically is a beige version of what I'm wearing right now and I'm not gonna lie to you guys this one was £4.50 each for this grey one here and obviously this beige one so nine pounds altogether don't know why it took me so long to process that and basically when i saw these i was like these are such like a molly may dupe now i'm not saying they look 100 percent like it but they were given that vibe and i definitely can't afford to buy molly may's range and not only that it's very incredibly hard to get hold of that whole collection like every time she relaunches one of those items they sell out pretty much straight away but yeah if you guys can see this one here this is like a gray version of this beige one for four pound fifty you can kind of get that same sort of effect and I'm not really like a cardigan sort of person like all the time but I feel like this is such like an easy layering piece again and for like a Molly Mae dupe type of thing I was really really happy with this so yeah I got a beige one got this grey one these were both from Bernardo's £4.50 each can't really go wrong so yeah I'll show you guys this is what this one looks like just a nice grey soft knit and it's got like these pearls all the way down it and obviously for this one here is obviously beige with like a cream sort of pearl this next item again is actually quite similar to her recent launch this isn't all molly made base i'm going to stop talking about it now but yeah this one is similar to the i think it's the sophia knit this one is from the salvation army this one was four pounds i feel like the salvation army is like one of the most affordable charity shops like more realistic prices to be honest out of all the shops that i went to the salvation army was just a little bit more budget friendly so if you are looking at shopping at charity shops salvation army is probably the most like yeah budget friendly version of them all this one was four pounds this one is from marks and spencers and yeah like i said it's very similar to the molly may sophia knit it's like a three quarter length sleeve which i really like i don't really like anything too short but this one here just sits perfectly on your arm like that again this one smelt quite badly so i had to wash it a couple of times but either way i love that it's like kind of off the shoulder as well like that again like a nice casual sort of piece to have in my wardrobe which i don't currently have can wear this in multiple different ways for a bag like this it's kind of fit in quite a lot this next item is another like a light beige sort of t-shirt really really like this one again just for those like little casual everyday outfits it's kind of like a ruched sort of like what do you call it collar this one was £3.99 from St Peter's Hospice not really sure where it's from but just love how it kind of sits here like that I just think it's really pretty and just soft and like yeah just a really nice t-shirt it's really comfortable lightweight as well uh, this one is from Sainsbury's in a size 12 when it comes to charity shops I'm not really don't really care about the brands if I like the way it looks I'll just buy it like I'm not really overall like a very brand sort of person in general but yeah just gonna add that in there because ever since I was younger just never really cared for brands at all this next item is from Salvation Army and this was two pounds it is like a very light cream sort of almost grey sweatshirt not too thick in material so i can just kind of wear this with like a little jacket or something or just by itself because sometimes in this time of year we get some really hot days like yesterday it was like 18 degrees for october that was a really nice surprise so yeah i wasn't expecting that so it's kind of hard to get the balance at this time of year i find this is the last item from this little bag here my second one this one is from salvation army four pounds i think it was got to double check my little book there uh four pounds fifty is this like gray checkered sort of cardigan knit thing as you can see here i do love a good old dog's tooth not sure if it's dog's tooth or hound's tooth never i can never really remember i've got like a padded shoulder here which i think it's really nice little touch there nice gray sort of cardigan so that is two bags down we've got one more left to go and don't get me wrong this one is kind of full up as well to the brim i think mainly in here we've got like t-shirts and cardigans and stuff again but a bit more color in this one i think first item from my last bag is this california t-shirt here got a little bit of print on this one which i don't normally tend to go for a lot of my t-shirts are kind of like basic sick and plain this one here is like a cropped baby tee sort of length so it's not too long not too short just like the perfect sort of length to wear with jeans or flares or anything like that i do love a good pair of flares this one is from shein and it's in a size medium it's three pound 99 again from good old st peter's hospice another item which again i picked up from st peter's hospice what a surprise this one was three pound 99 as well love this it's like an animal print sort of like again baby tee style t-shirt a bit more of like a scoop neck going on love the pattern it goes all the way around the back this one is from 
weekenders.com never heard of that one but yeah in charity shops you could find some pretty unique stuff to be honest with you moving on to my next item is a lovely grey cardigan type of thing this one has got like one button here and then obviously just opens up so a perfect layering piece to wear like a nice sort of basic t-shirt underneath or whatever love the like bat sleeve here as well really nice I do love a good old flare whether it's trousers whether it's a sleeve love it this one was four pounds from Bernardo's and it's from Moda which I think is an American brand and oh no it's not it's from Asda nice cute little cardigan sort of thing again to wear like a pair of jeans and some nice little boots or something just a nice casual outfit to wear for this time of year We've got a couple of colourful pieces now, which is something that I was kind of trying to steer myself away from, but just love these pieces. So this one here is from Cats Protection, which I picked up a couple of weeks ago for a Friends Fest that I was going to. So yeah, just had to include that in there because I really, really like this. This one was, I think Cats Protection is a bit more expensive as well. This one was £8, but it was just so on point for what I was looking for. I was trying to go for that Phoebe buffet sort of vibe. I feel like in charity shops, you can find some really great, unique pieces that you just wouldn't find obviously anywhere else and my problem is with that is that I love a good unique piece and I really struggle to put it down once I've kind of picked it up and that's why my wardrobe is kind of bold and bright and full of all these colours but yeah I kind of get a little bit addicted to buying clothes like that because I just love like the uniqueness of it all if you know what I mean yeah moving on this next one here is again from Cats Protection and this one is a like stripy blue kind of knitwear again I had it in mind for like Friends Fest but wasn't really sure it's like my backup option just in case the other one did fit me too well got three quarter length sleeves here just love the colors again like the blues the greens the stripes all over and i do love a good little v-neck as well so yeah this one was four pounds fifty so yeah not too bad and the brand is olsen the next item i picked up is from salvation army and just a nice soft baby blue cropped knit cardigan thing this one is from tu which i think is sainsbury's again in a size 12 love that little sleeve there it's really really nice another perfect layering piece for this time of year so love that this next item is from cats protection this one was eight pounds from h&m in a size medium pick this one up for like a halloween look i'm going for like an alien sort of vibe sparkly all the way down got this nice corset thing at the front and at the back it's nice and stretchy as well so i can wear that really nicely with like a t-shirt underneath or just by itself not really sure yet every time halloween comes about i always go to charity shops first before i go to like the fancy dress shops because you just never know what you can find and it can kind of inspire you to like go for something completely different and like creative so yeah this one definitely inspired me to go hopefully as an alien for this year so yeah eight pounds can't go wrong for that really great little find as well and because christmas is coming up as well i just feel like it'd be quite a reusable piece to have in my wardrobe because again i do love to have those pieces where i can just get a lot of wear out of it so yeah christmas parties as well could be also good for that and then my last item which i've got to share with you guys is a super cozy white knitted jumper from i think this one was zara zara in a size medium and just a nice soft like it's given polar bear really nice soft cozy knitted jumper love this i do love a good old turtleneck as well keep you all snug and warm for this time of year love it this one was £6.99 from St Peter's Hospice and that was the last item which I've got to share with you guys so I hope you guys have enjoyed have a little rummage through everything I picked up from my recent trip at the charity shop the total of everything is here I feel like I've spent some good money on some really good pieces that I can get a lot of wear out of so love that everything I picked up like I said was under £10 or less so really great bargains good finds and I just love a good old charity shop rummage I've been going to charity shops my entire life my dad was a huge lover of charity shops and like secondhand stuff we was always over St Peter's Hospice around my local shopping area and yeah always picking up bargains but yeah that is everything from today I hope you guys have enjoyed rummaging through everything that I picked up and share with you guys for this video today if you guys did enjoy give this a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future I have a lot planned ready for this time of year because the content this time of year is like my favorite cozy kind of vibes hope you guys are all doing really well and i'll see you all again in my next video soon bye